we estimate that about 600,000 children have been affected by the conflict across the country. During missions to Kaga Bandoro, Bosangoa, and Bambari early there this month, UNICEF noted, sh noted shortages in life-saving medicines in all three towns. Health activities have been seriously disrupted as most doctors have left. Uh, many schools are closed, occupied by armed groups or without teachers, denying 166,000 children off an access to education. And we estimate that 13,500 children are, will suffer from life-threatening malnutrition this year, and many nutrition centers are closed and looted. Other major risks to children include recruitment into armed groups and gender-based violence. Most vulnerable are children who have lost their homes, have been separated from their families, or were formerly associated with armed groups. And since the outbreak of this conflict, UNICEF has received credible reports that both rebel groups and pro-government militias have recruited children. The lack of access over the past months has been a huge block to humanitarian efforts. Roads are blocked, the presence of armed groups, there's risks of pillage and attacks. Uh, UNICEF's offices in Kagamandora were completely looted. Funding is also a major constraint. Uh, humanitarian agencies launched a $129 million appeal for emergency assistance in 2013, not, putting, not accounting for this current conflict. And to date, just 1% of this much needed funding has been received. Absolutely, uh, we are concerned about these people. Access to uh, these populations has been impossible uh, for some time now. Uh, it's vitally important that we get uh, access to them as soon as we possibly can and to uh, people who may be displaced internally.